hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is a care collab video i'm doing with ninja and karine orchids thanks nina for getting me into this i truly find this care collab videos very helpful and i recommend everyone to join in we all need some guidance when growing orchids i really think this is a great idea thank you again for the opportunity welcome guys if you're new thanks for being here thank you for your time i really appreciate it i also recommend everyone to watch nina's channel i personally find her videos very instructive as well as karin's okay guys so today we will be talking about this beauty i have right here and how i care for her this is Caracetum from SBO Orchids. Her name is Fred Clark Chiara After Dark Black Pearl, also known as the Black Orchid, the best of the black flower types. It is a cross between Mormoria Painted Desert and Caracetum Donna Wise Caitlin. When mature, it can produce two to four pendant inflorescences per bulb carrying more than 20 fragrant flowers each so i bought this plant at the town miami orchid festival on january 2019 back then i had only few orchids in my collection and this was my first of this type no need to say as a beginner i had no idea on how to care for this plant so i started doing my research and i'm glad i did because this is not like a Cattleya or a Phalaenopsis or any of those uh, common orchids we are more familiar to. I found out I was not supposed to water her at all for months. Yep, believe it or not. It happens that these Caracetums have a dormant period and we will talk about that later in this video. Soon after I got her, she started producing a new growth and that is when you repot these plants once every year. I had to cut off all the dead roots from its previous growth, of course using a sterilized pair of scissors. During dormancy most of the old root dies. That is why it is okay to cut them because you are going to rely on the ones the new growth will pull out later. I used a plastic pot and added medium sized bark mixed with sphagnum moss. I think I over potted it, but like I said, I was a beginner and I didn't know what I was doing back then. I added fertilizer to the new pot. I used Osmocoat, this you see right here. It is a slow release fertilizer that feeds the plant for up to six months and left her under my terrace without water until the new roots were about five inches long. That is when you start watering and fertilizing. This is a heavy feeder plant in its growing season. It needs lots of light fertilizer and water during its growing season i had her outside with my other plants during even during the extremely hot summers here in south florida she was placed on the north side of what i call my orchid house this you see right here there she got the light needed mostly like on cattleyas of course avoiding direct sunlight and i guess i did something good because that new growth from january 2019 is this one let me take this out Let's see if i can take this out whoa okay is that you see right there it is 7.5 inches tall with one inflorescence carrying 14 waxy 
gorgeous flowers this is her first time blooming for me I think it bloomed before I'm not sure as you can see flowers are almost black very dark red when you put um, the plant in the light and they have a sweet spicy kind of fragrance I really like the smell flowers are getting lighter in color after a month in full bloom but they were a lot darker when first open I will add photos at the end of this video so you can see the color how it was darker when it bloomed okay like I mentioned before these caracetum type orchids have a dormant period which usually starts during late fall you will notice because leaves start getting yellow and falling by that time you should reduce water gradually and by the time it blooms in most cases the bulbs <coughs> are leafless as you see happen with mine there's no leaves at all by december january you don't need to water unless you see the bulbs are getting shriveling this plant has been under my terrace for two months now with no water at all i will do the repotting process again when it starts pulling a new growth and will stay without water until the right time comes again see how beautiful okay guys so this is it this is how i take care of my beautiful black pearl i hope you like this video i really really hope this is of some help just please keep in mind every plant is different depending on your environment and climate not all orchids like or handle same care or have same special needs if you have any suggestions, questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. We always have something new to learn regarding orchids and we all love to share the love for these magnificent plants. Don't forget to subscribe if, if you like the video. Again, thank you for being here. Please check the description for more information. Bye bye and happy growing.